driving is one of the worst batterings of nails. And I just had this manicure. Arnold Micheletti was one of my neighbors in the Hotel Iroquois. His father maintained all these signs, right? And one day his father said to me, you know, that was my name. I want to turn on the signs in Times Square. And we went to that building and we got to the roof, climbed up and said, here's the switch. And I took my hand and all these lights were out and I went like that. My favorite thing about being trans is feeling free, being free. There is no replacement for that. Whatever I face, medical crises, I've never felt more free in my life. But nobody gives you that freedom. You fight for that freedom. You make that freedom every day of your life no matter what the consequences are. I drove for 27 years, the West Village, Chelsea, Hell's Kitchen. Most of my uh, career as a taxi driver, I made most of my money during the graveyard part of the shift. I mean, the first seven, eight hours of the shift, I didn't, I didn't do that much sex work. Uh, I did regular taxi work. See, most of the girls that worked here, they. They would just walk in the sidewalk. I used the taxi. If there was one thing the cops were most unaware of, people like me who use the taxi for sex work. My favorite thing about being trans is no longer being a male impersonator. Society, especially under capitalism, has rules and people are conditioned to to operate in a certain way. Do we always have to wear a plain black dress? How about something with a little zest? How about something a little provocative? How about something to create, even if you're just walking by for a second, a moment of interest? I don't do this for me. I do it for you. And I mean that because when we walk down the street, we're being revolutionary. 30 years ago, we were outlaws. You know what's one of my favorite things? Seeing my trans siblings in our environment because I love my people and there just is nothing like a trans takeover together. Here's one of my true favorites ever. One of the most beautiful women in the world. Say hi, honey. Listen, you know what my favorite thing about trans is? Knowing that life is really short and why waste time? Making believe. You're something other than you really are. I mean, it hurts me to say that when I very first started to know what I was, you know, I used to be intimidated. You could probably even say, oh, it kills me to say this, but I'm going to say it. I'm ashamed. I let the ignorant let me feel ashamed. I mean, I'm sure just about everybody goes through that. And it's terrible. And I see other people now, you know, and it breaks my heart. And sometimes we do it to survive, you know, we do. 
And I probably had that factor a long time. I probably did. Stay alive. Survive. I've actually done the opposite of mellow. <laughs> I've done the complete opposite. And I am so happy to sit here and be able to tell you that. I just kind of felt um, not very demure today. Austere wasn't the way to go. Transition is perpetual. It's constantly evolving. So you're thinking about it this way, half a quarter. Rene is pretty thin, so you don't want to hit a bone, so you well, want to pull up the tissue so that you have something to put it in. And that's not a big needle. Okay, you want to be at the five. No, you, you do that after you get the syringe out of the bottle, and yeah. then before and you, you do the shot, you And then you do a little yeah, bubble yeah, layer. Yeah, the air at the top. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. You ready, Renee? Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Should I put it right here? Yeah, all right. Okay, ready? Right. Wait, it's wait. not, it really isn't about genitalia. It's not. And I haven't had reassignment surgery. As far as I'm concerned, my genitalia is a mass of flesh shaped this way instead of that way. Rules were made to be broken and I'm hell bent on breaking them.